Okay, I'm back. Uh, I want to show you Case Barlow. Um, show you how cluttered I still got things because I haven't put nothing away since the last video. But uh, here we go. Here's my Barlow collection. And also... I've done a video on this one before too. I keep it in a GEC sleeve, but is a John Russell, John Russell Arch, which is uh, one of my favorite knives to carry still to this day. Um, it's the first video I did. Um, check it out. So uh, made in nine, anywhere from 1934 to 1941. I really like this because it reminds me of my dad. Because my dad's a class act. And my dad was born in uh, 1935. So there's a good possibility this was made the same year he was born. Well, there's a one in seven chance, I guess. But we've all seen that. Um... Here's a junk Barlow. This is from uh, Rhode Island uh, Cut Cutlery Company. Providence Cutlery. These here were probably five bucks at the hardware store back in the 70s or so. Plastic handle. Cheap steel. But I mean, oh well, okay. Let's get down to business. On the top, that's my Shrade Custom with the Mammoth handle. Uh, right under that is a K bar. All four of these are uh, two blade Barlows. I like the two blades. Um, that's a K-Bar Barlow, uh, two blade. Then right under that is a Mother of Pearl, um, Parker, Eagle brand. But here, I just got this a day before I got my, um, 86 Titty Ute Oil Jack. Now, uh, Everyone's been complaining a lot about uh, the quality control at Case. So I was praying the whole time while I was waiting that I'd get a good one. So I bought it from Old Town Cutlery. Um, and they usually inspect them pretty good. And you know what? I got a perfect one. Let's check this doggy out. This is a... Uh, a classy looking I like the ones with the bolsters that are uh, just plain more than I do one that has a stamping to it although this here still is a cool cool knife smooth white bone it's a case double X, no gaps, smooth transition from bone to bolster. Let's see, let's try some lighting on this. I don't like what that light goes on. Centered is perfect. I don't know if we can get a shot of the centering. It's always been a problem with case. They got half stops. A nice chunky style. Clip point. So I'm really digging this one, this knife. 
This one, I don't know. I bought it to carry because I like carrying Barlow's. But this one I may have to uh, may have to keep under wraps for a while. This here too, what I like about this this style is you can get at the clip point because it's at the front on this side. And then you can dig your nail back because your nail nick for your pen blade is on the back side. So you could either, if you're a lefty, go that way with it. But I like I like being able to come over the top to get the pen blade instead of having it lower in the front. I wish they all, everyone made their barlows or any two blades. Any two blade jack should go with this style. That's my opinion. Nice little pen blade. Of course, you got that, uh, what is it, the 440A stainless steel. And look at the model number on this. It's a... Um, Six two zero zero something and a half. Oh, I'm having a hard time picking up. Okay, there we go. Six two zero zero nine and a half SS. I have no idea what that means. Love the pinched bolster. And this basically just says case double X. Um, I haven't looked at their chart for their 2019s, but this is brand new. They just came out with these. Well, I think the white bone is brand new. I've seen um, on a slip joint guy had some for sale. And he had like a, a jig bone model a couple of them but there you go that's a beautiful barlow there let's look at this k-bar i've never shown the k-bar this is a really light because this is a uh, delrin saw cut and i kind of like the um they use the pins with the head on them which is pretty cool and then once again, it's just the uh, plain smooth bolster. Uh, this one doesn't have a pronounced pinch to it, but it is pinched. Look at the blade though, as compared. Much more sleek. K-Bar makes good knives. Um, traditionals. It's got the half stop. the 1013 1016 so it's like three years old I think oops got the shakes again nothing on that one But there you go. Let's do a little top shot and then get out of here. I got lots to do today. Hopefully a little later today I can watch. Uh, got to get caught up on some of you guys that do videos. Um, I'm always really interested in what you guys got because it always gives me ideas on what I want. I still want... Um, I'm looking into getting a Puma IP because I like this, uh, the the ones the the handles that are made in Spain. Maybe get a Puma Germany and a Puma IP. But I got that idea from uh, Eric at Slick Slicers and Patty at uh, Patty's Potato Peelers. 
And if I do get a Puma Germany, it definitely will be with the Stag. Because nobody does Stag like Puma. And then uh, Puma IP, the Spain one, I'm looking at uh, something in a Bacati wood or even in eb ebony. Okay. But there you go. Don't forget to, everyone, do some history, uh, check some history on John Russell Company. This here, even though I paid 55 for it and had it authenticated, I could probably put this on eBay as is right now and get $200 for it. Oxbone handle, just a beautiful barlow there. I mean, it's got the perfect age. Um, you can see the 80 years of 85 years of dents and nicks steel liner just beautiful buy this don't buy this take care